Hi everyone, my name is Tanya and today I am sharing a fun little tutorial on how to do some gel printing on some old glass jar and a bottle. So to start off, I had already taken off all the labels of my glass jar and my bottle and I'm applying some gesso to my jar so that I have a white base to work on. Now I would suggest that instead of gesso you use some sort of paint or primer that would adhere to the glass better because as I was uh, finding during the gel printing process that some of the gesso was coming off but I did manage to fix it and I plan to seal the glass jar and uh, bottle afterwards when I'm done. So I'm applying a really a thin layer of gesso just making sure to cover the entire outside of the glass jar you don't have to do this but I wanted a white surface to work on so that the colors of uh, my paint would pop a lot better so I got my supplies out I got all my favorite colors of paints and a brayer and by and my 8 by 10 jelly arts gel printing plate this is one of my favorites to use. It's very versatile and I find that I can use it for small as well as large projects. So I'm taking some magenta paint and I'm burying out with my roller a thin layer of paint onto the gel plate and I'm wiping off any excess onto my art journal which I've got on the side. And I'm using a good old egg carton to get some uh, texture onto my gel plate and I am uh, adding some more texture with some bubble wrap. So now what I'm doing is I am rolling parts of my jar and my bottle onto the gel plate and to pick up some of the paint that's on the gel plate. So there you can see that it lifted some of the gesso off uh, because gesso isn't necessarily a good thing to use on glass instead you should be using a primer instead but I covered it up and I got it to work in the end so all went well <laughs> so taking my next color of paint I am uh, uh, also to be noted I am not cleaning my gel plate in between prints and I am using stencils which are also from jelly arts as well all the products used will be linked on the jelly arts blog and the beauty of uh, using a gel plate is that uh, because it is uh, it has a bit of give to it you can press your uh, objects which aren't necessarily flat into it so that it picks up the paint and I'm repeating the process by uh, picking up the paint in parts of uh, my jar and my bottle but not covering the whole thing because I don't want to cover my whole uh, bottle or jar with just one color I just want like little blocks of color here and there and I'm using the ladder stencil and here you can see I'm picking up the gel plate so that I can use it as a stamp to get into the curved parts of the jar and the bottle. And in between each print after I'm done putting my paint onto my uh, bottle and jar, I am picking up all the excess paint on my art journal. I like having my art journal on the side this way then I don't waste any of my paint and I have some paint already ready to go on my art journal so that I don't have a blank page to uh, work on whenever I next feel like doing some art journaling. And here you can see I'm still picking up the gel plate in parts to, so that it curves into all the nooks and crannies of the bottle and the jar. And Next, I'm using this uh, flower outline stencil. This is also by Jelly Arts as well. And I'm using the glass bottle, as you will see next, over on top of 
that uh, stencil. I'm able to do that because the gel plate is slightly squishy. <laughs> so, which is how I am able to press it through the stencil so that I can lift some of that paint up on to my bottle and my jar. I really love how that blue looks on there with the blue, the petals. And uh, before I lift the stencil off, I am lifting off some of that excess paint through the stencil onto my art journal page. And I am going to finish it, uh, finish off where I feel I need a little bit more color onto the neck of the bottle. I was inspired by seeing um, pottery uh, on Instagram and ceramic artists use their gel plates to apply their uh, various dyes and I'm not really sure what the technical term is but they apply their paint onto their finished pieces of pottery with a gel plate and I thought why can't I try doing that with some glass uh, bottles and jars that I always have lying around and here is a finished look at the glass bottle and jar and I will put in some pictures of the art journal page as well I hope you enjoyed this video and please do let me know if you have any comments or questions take care and have a great day thanks bye